in health and wealth. A checkup on mental health. Joining us for that is financial pro Winnie Sun. And what does the latest survey say about how much of a priority Americans are making mental health as they're choosing health care plans this year? Well, the 2022-23 AFLAC Workforces Report found that more than half of the American workers surveyed are currently facing burnout, which is a 52% jump from last year. And as you know, this isn't healthy to have in your company. This can impact job satisfaction and loyalty, and employees want to know that their employers care about their well-being. And the report also found that only less than half of those surveys said that they actually feel confident in their understanding of their health insurance policies and the choices that they're making during the open annual open enrollment period, which is where we're at right now. As a financial advisor, how important is this open enrollment season? Well, there's so many things to know, but especially that a lot of people need to spend more time researching their options. I actually find it surprising that most people spend less than 30 minutes on this. In fact, 90% just select what they picked last year. But you and I know a lot has happened in the last few years, so it really pays to have employees slow down and review their different options because we know from the report that people are struggling emotionally and financially this season. So it's important for everyone to know that you're not alone. How should employers deal with the new reality of burnout? I recently chatted with a friend who told me that the pandemic had taken a toll on her son. He was about to start high school and his mental health was struggling. He really needed help. And she did like what most parents would do, I would do. She researched her health insurance policy and learned that all of his needed therapy sessions would not be covered at all. So it was devastating. And we know that the last few years have been tough and more people need mental health services now more than ever. So this is about bringing it into the workforce. So employers are turning to supplemental insurance options to fill in the gaps. AFLAC has introduced mental health coverage to its individual short-term disability and group critical illness products as well. And the website is, you'll want to check out aflacworkforcesreport.com. And we'd like to invite you to the hashtag Winnie Sun tweet chat with AFLAC Senior VP Chief HR Officer Matthew Owenby, which is happening Wednesday, December 7th. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you, Angie. Take care. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.